guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video at Apache Airsoft. And today I'm going to talk about how to properly maintain your airsoft gun gear and accessories. That's going to happen in four different categories. The first one, how to properly clean your inner barrel. The second one, how to wash your airsoft BBs. The third one, how to properly clean your gun externally. And the fourth one is to how to maintain, lubricate and clean your gun internally. And you must be wondering, why are you making this video? Well, I want to help the beginning airsofters maintaining and cleaning and lubricating their airsoft guns and gear. Beginning airsofters are not always up to date what they can and can do on their guns. And that can lead to malfunction or even destroying the gun itself. But not only beginning airsofters, I also want to help some experienced airsofters give some tips, tricks that they didn't know. If you have some tips and tricks for me that I didn't know and I forgot about it in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will keep it in mind for the next one. So without any further ado, let's begin with category 1. How to properly clean your airsoft inner barrel. So guys, what do you need to do for cleaning the inner barrel? Now, a few things you might need is a cleaning rod, a small Phillips screwdriver, some cleaning tissue or in my case toilet paper and scissors. Now, things you can do with your inner barrel is cleaning your inner barrel when it's in the gun and why this can either replace or damage your hopper. Also, do not clean it with oils. This will always leave oil behind and your BBs can't grip anymore. So guys, don't do it. So what you need to do is take out your inner barrel. On most guns, this can be easily done by removing this pin. That is why you need the Phillips screwdriver. Push alongside the pin like this, pull it out. Then you can separate the upper from the lower receiver. Just as easy as this. This is your hop up chamber. Just pull it out. This is your hop up and your inner barrel. Now, to remove the hop up chamber from the barrel it's fairly easy just remove this plastic part that is holding the chamber to the inner barrel if that is removed make sure your hop up is fully closed then you can pull it out my hop up rubber is quite thick it's an aftermarket so it's quite hard then remove the bucking remove the metal ring and here is your inner barrel. Now for cleaning the inner barrel, if it's very dirty, you can use some cleaning alcohol, but I prefer not. But if you clean it often enough, you do not need cleaning alcohol at all. So next thing you need to do is take some tissue. Like this. Fold it. Then push it through the eye of the cleaning rod, just like this. Then go into the inner barrel and twist it. This way you can remove all grease and dirt. Just like this. Mine's quite clean as you can see because I cleaned it a few days ago, so it wasn't really necessary, but... Now, that's all you need to do for cleaning your inner barrel. Now, to put it all back together is quite simple as well. Take your inner barrel, your bucking, slide the bucking over the inner barrel, put on the metal ring, like this. Then take your hop up chamber, put it in, like 
like this, put the metal ring in place, then put the best plastic thing in place like this, and it's all done. Then put it back in the gun and you're ready to go. How to wash your airsoft BBs. Okay, so guys, so before we start, there are some things you don't do when washing the BBs, and that is don't make too much friction with the BBs. This will either scratch them or remove the plush of the BBs, and this can have effect on the accuracy of the BBs. Also, do not wash the BBs too long, this will increase the degrading process. And do not let the BBs dry overnight. This will also increase the degrading process. So for starters, there are some things you might need. A clean bowl, a towel, an empty bottle, water, some dish soap, and of course BBs. So let's get started. First, take a small bottle, put the BBs in. Next up, take some liquid dishing soap and put a few drops in there. Then fill halfway with water. Close the bottle. and then shake it for 20 seconds. Next up, take the clean bowl and fill it up with water. Put the BBs into the bowl of water. Shake it. Take your clean towel, take the BBs out of the water, spread them a little bit and then clean them off. Take the towel and put it in a clean bag. Here you have washed BBs. Next up, how to clean your gun externally. Okay, so the things you need to clean your gun externally is clean water, a bowl, a clean towel and a vacuum cleaner. Okay, so some things you don't do when cleaning your gun externally is do not use too much water to clean the gun. This might damage your internals and your electric parts. Also do not use an air compressor, this will only blow the dirt deeper into the gun and cause malfunction and unreachable dirty places. So what do you need to do? Take your vacuum cleaner, your clean towel, with your towel loosen up the dirt while vacuum it. This way you will prevent dirt going into your gun. When this is done, take your clean bowl of water, make the towel a bit wet, and then clean the rest of the gun. And there you have your clean gun. Next up, how to clean your gun internally. Okay, so for this one you will need, again, clean tissues or toilet paper, gun oil, and the gun. Now for this one I am using a 1911 gun. 
So to start off, take out your magazine and make sure the gun is empty. Then take off the slide from the gun by pushing this and taking it out. So things you need to clean and lubricate on the lower gun, these two parts on the side and the hammer. But first, clean off the oil, grease and gun with a towel or with some tissue. When that's done, take your gun oil and spray it along the side. Don't overdo it. If you get too much, clean it a bit off. Then do the other side. And spray into the hammer. Then take the upper and do the same thing along the sides. Lubricate the spring with the spring guide. Do not go anywhere near your inner barrel or your hub up system. This will cause, like I said before, malfunction of the gun and will loosen the grip on the BBs. Then do a bit on your nozzle, not too much. Put the gun back together, see if everything is in place. Rack it a few times, and if it runs smoothly, that means your gun is perfectly lubricated. If you want to be sure, test shoot it a couple of times, but everything should be working just fine. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions left, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if you want to participate in the giveaway of the previous video, go ahead and check it out in the video description. Guys, see you next time.